Okay, now I got something very special for y'all today. Very special, special to me and I hope it's as special to you as it is to me. It's my good friend and neighbor right down the road here, Mr. Thomas Summers. He's gonna be plowing his garden with his mules, Pat and Pearl. I hope y'all enjoy it and I hope you're having a great day. Now y'all, I'm gonna try to keep the commentary to a minimum. If y'all have any questions about what he's doing, just drop it in the comments below and I'll be glad to help you. But I want y'all to notice the barn manners that these mules have. Pay close attention to how he speaks and also the mule's response. Now y'all check out his harness rig there. He said this is mighty handy for an old man. Thank you. 
Now y'all pay close attention whenever he goes to hitch to the plow. Listen how he speaks to them. He'll tell them to straighten up. You know, and get over and such as that so they'll line themselves up so he can make it easier on himself. Listen. Now, if you'll pay attention, Mr. Summers hooks the off mules inside trace chain first, followed by the lead mules inside trace chain, and then he hooks the two outside trace chains, and he does this to keep from boxing himself in. It's kind of like a safety doodad type deal, if you will. Now he's going to get that last trace chain hooked up and he'll be ready to go. All right, for those of you that ain't never done no plowing before, uh, 
this is what we call laying off the rolls or laying off land. Some people call it striking out. Basically, y'all, what the deal is, is he's drawing himself a road map on how he's going to plow his garden. He's starting on the outsides, and he's going to work himself to the middle. And as this video goes on, it'll make more sense to you. Now, as he goes along, y'all pay attention to how he speaks to his mules and how the mules respond. And I'm going to put their names in the video also so you can tell which is which. Just listen to how he speaks to them. Hold it. Yeah, in it, bro. Then up there. Yeah. Hey, bro, get in. Damn it. Oh, how perfect. Oh, perfect. Hey, come here. Hey, Pearl, get up a little. Get up. Hey, get up.
Now I have to say the dirt's plowing pretty good today. It's a little wet, but not bad. It's plowing just right. And uh, Mr. Thomas said he wanted to go ahead and get his garden plowed in now so it can go through a few freezes uh, before he's ready to plant. And that'll help break his dirt up real fine and make it more easier to work. It'll just kind of mellow it out, if you will. And I'll tell y'all something else. I'm mighty surprised that he let me put my GoPro camera on him, but I'm glad I did because he speaks so softly to his mules that standing beside of him like I am here, you couldn't hear what he says. Those mules can hear him, but we can't. You know, he told me one time, he said, the louder you speak to a mule, the louder you're going to have to speak to him. He said, tell them once and then make them do what you want them to. Now, Mr. Summers told me once that he handled his first pair of mules by himself when he was six years old. He's now 83 years young, and his two mules, Pat and Pearl, are 21 years old this spring. But none of them look their age. I believe the work has helped them a lot, and these mules love to work as much as he does, I do believe. All right, now here he's finishing up his land, as we call it, uh, where he's plowed at here. And he's plowing out the dead furrow, which is uh, the furrow right in the middle where the two lands meet. Uh, we call this a dead furrow. And there'll be a little small ditch there uh, in his garden. And when he hires it down, he'll fill it back in just a little bit. But there'll always be that little bit of a low place right there in the middle. And that's because he worked it from the outside to the inside. And then next year, when he gets ready to plow y'all, he'll do it backwards. He'll start in the middle and his first two furrows, he will throw over into this ditch back to back. In other words, he'll come down one side and throw it over in the ditch. Then he'll go to the other side and make another pass and throw it over in the ditch. So that way, when he does it like this year to year, it keeps his garden fairly level and he don't get high spots and low spots, if that makes sense.
Now it's time to get the harness off and get everybody put to bed. Now he puts them up the same exact way every time. Y'all notice how these mules go through the process. Watch them here.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, drop me a comment below. Take care and have a good one.